My name is Dr Julian Barwell. I'm a consultant in clinical genetics at the Leicester Royal Infirmary. I see people who have got a family history of different types of cancers. This podcast is for patients who have either got a family history or a personal history, bowel or gynaecological tumours, which might suggest the inherited condition, hereditary non-polyposis colorectal cancer syndrome, or HMPCC for short. HMPCC is sometimes called Lynch syndrome, and it's a condition that increases the risk of developing certain types of tumours, particularly endometrial womb tumours in women, and bowel cancer in both men and women. It's one of the most common inherited cancer susceptibility syndromes, and it's inherited in an also more dominant fashion, which means that if one of your parents is affected, there is a 50-50 chance you will also inherit the, the gene change associated with this condition. HMPCC is caused by the inheritance and alteration in one of the proofreading genes and there are a number of different genes which can be associated with this condition. To determine if you have inherited an alteration in one of these proofreading genes, we often carry out tumour block analysis. When a tumour is operated on, a small piece is kept that can be analysed at a later date. When HMPCC is suspected in the family, tumours from either a person with cancer or a relative who has been previously had cancer can be analysed. Tumours can be examined to determine whether there is an abnormality in the genes responsible for repairing errors. These are the proofreading genes. This can help determine which genes should be looked at in a blood sample taken from an affected member of the family. If there is no blood sample available from an affected family member, it may be difficult to diagnose HMPCC. I hope you found this podcast helpful. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact even myself or one of my genetic counsellors in the clinical genetics department on 0116 258 5736. There are other podcasts available if you have any further questions about the detection of early stages of tumours. Thank you very much. Goodbye.